Alrighty guys, how's it going? It's Little Tips here, and we are back with some more Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've played. Uh, it's been a pretty busy month for me, so I apologize for not having anything out recently. Just a reminder, we are doing a subscriber challenge. If I hit 200 subscribers, I'm going to do a series where I play every single nation that exists in the game as a survival challenge. So... I don't even know what kind of nations we would get, like Algeria, early anything, if it exists in the game, whether it be releasable or a starring nation, I will play that if we hit 200 subscribers. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the game. Alrighty, so in most games, I've been focusing on either Europe or the Americas, but this time, I'm going to switch it up. We're going to take it somewhere else. We're not going over here. Instead... We're looking at Liberia. As always, we have historical AI turned off and we're on regular mode. Alrighty, we are in. So we start off with the pretty, uh, not great military. Only 2,000 manpower are in the field. But we're going to make it work. I'm guessing I'm going to need to go through the communist tree so I can get that 500 weekly manpower. It's either weekly or monthly, I can't remember, but we'll find out. Um, we're in the jungle, which might make this somewhat easier for us since we got that nice attack. Not like people trying to attack us will have a harder time, so that will work a little better for us. I think my plan, if I can get enough of a military to capture these forts or the, not forts, but these naval ports right away. I can cut off their supply, and it's going to be really easy to hold them back. So I think that'll be my plan to start. Of course, we're going to need to build up an industry, because Liberia is not the most powerful nation. So I'm going to start with political effort, so we can start getting our communist tree. That will allow us to get our extra manpower. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and set things up. And I'll bring you back when I have an update. Alrighty, we are in 1937 now. So I'll give the annual update. Uh, we're on the path to communism now. It's almost there. I just need to get a little bit further so I can start getting these uh, collectivist ethos. Then we can go through the focus tree here. Uh, right now I'm just working on industry until that happens. I've also been... Doing some different research. Um, I only have two slots, so it's a little rough trying to get everything. But I got a little bit of engineering, industry. Um, working on gang artillery for the anti-air. And then... I think that was all I could do for now. Yeah, I only got two slots, so... Also got three divisions now. There's still the same two infantry template. But I'm hoping to upgrade that at some point. Which I could probably do now. I got some experience, so I'll probably work on getting that set. Other than that, not too much is going on. I'll let you know when the next update hits. Alrighty, we are in 1938. So we're here for our annual update. We are officially communist. Um, we're upping our conscription, just like that. Um, I haven't changed the economy yet, um, which might be an issue. But gone ahead and finished most of this industrial. I'm um, just finishing up this armament effort. I'm going to switch down to this focus tree. Um, we'll see how that goes. Research wise, I've gotten another research slot. So I'm doing trucks. <laughs> and then I got a little bit more in artillery and engineering and construction or industry research. So overall, we're not doing too bad. I did upgrade our division templates a little bit. Um, of course, that lowered all their levels, so I'm going to have to train them up again. But we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm still in an artillery deficit, so I'm going to have to work on that. Infantry equipment has been doing good so far. Um, then I also got the weekly 500 manpower, so we should be all set for when the war hits and then i'm thinking about like maybe one or two more years before that happens 
But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and keep on going. I'll let you know if anything happens. Alrighty, so we are in 1939. And a little interesting thing I just kicked off. Uh, the British Empire has declared war on Iran, Iraq, and the Netherlands, which also brings in the Dutch East Indies. Um, so we're seeing a minor conflict, which it's a bit interesting, but I'm off topic. Um, I still have the same infantry units as before. However, I did add anti-air to them, so they're going to be a little bit better. Then, research-wise, I've been working on these submarine holes, as well as uh, just trying to make everything as good as possible. It's going to be a little rough just being Liberia, so hopefully it goes well. Other than that, not too much is going on. I'm just going to take some of these trains. <laughs> uh, we're going to go about one more year before I start declaring war. I have been able to get most of my things set up. We are maxed out on construction here, so there's not a whole lot I can really do besides building forts. But other than that, I want to go a bit longer, and then I'll declare war on everyone. Alrighty, we are in 1940. Gone ahead and gotten some more divisions ready. And then I've also constructed my first submarine. Uh, it's nothing too fancy. So the design is just two level two torpedoes, level two engine. Um, I didn't really have enough time to get anything else ready since we're 1940. I'm actually a little late already, but we're going to go ahead and get the war started. My plan is to just take on as many of these naval ports as possible. I think I'll extend up to here and then... Maybe to here if I can. So we need three three divisions to hold on to that. And then I also want to build forts there too. Um, but we'll see how that goes. I'm going to pop this in. Then we're going to declare war on everybody. So as we're going, um, I just wanted to ask you guys if you enjoy the video so far. Feel free to hit the like button. Possibly subscribe if you want to see more of my content. Uh, you can always hit the notification bell, that way you're alerted when I release. Or you can join my Discord server and I'll post all like the release announcements there. Um, and just another reminder, I'm doing a subscriber challenge. So if we hit 200 subscribers, I will be playing every single nation with the survival challenge. So hopefully we can hit it. It'll be definitely interesting. Um, but anyways... I'm going to go ahead and start the march to here. And that should cut off most supplies. There are more ports here, but I don't have enough troops to uh, snag it. So let's see what we can do with this. Oh, they actually got troops here. They're waiting for us. I'm going to try to encircle them because I can actually go around them, it looks like. So we, we can just walk right past them. This little connection here allows us to do that. And we've already sunk two convoys. What kind? They were troop convoys. Perfect. Already we even circled this division here. Let's see if we can get rid of them. Alrighty. So we're the first few months into the war. Uh, so far we've been able to hold. They've been saying a lot of naval invasions. But so far we've been able to repel them. Uh, they did get some troops on our border, unfortunately. Um... Europe situation has gotten weird. Soviet Union fell and the Civil War version of themselves took over. Germany's gotten interesting. Uh, Austria Hungary's back. We got Italy doing their thing. Uh, Switzerland's even getting involved. They broke their neutrality. But it's definitely interesting. When you declare war on everyone, the factions always go crazy. So now. All these countries are like in the Asian faction here. So <laughs> even uh, Japan is allied with China. So in a way, I guess I brought world peace on that. Not exactly in the sense that I'm pitting everyone against each other, but at least this faction's at peace. 
Um, but yeah, so far, so good. I've just been sinking a lot of convoys and repelling a lot of their naval invasions. So we'll go ahead and see how it goes from here. And I'll let you know if anything happens. So small issue. The Brazilians are threatening a bit of a landing. Um, I did reinforce it in time. Hopefully they're able to hold. Please. <laughs> Please don't fall. That would be unfortunate if they make a landing. Um, there we go. Perfect. But let's go ahead and check the casualty report. Uh, we've taken about 4.4 thousand losses compared to just under 80,000 of them. So overall, we're doing a pretty darn good job at keeping them out. Only issue is I don't know how long it's going to last. Um, they haven't tried pushing through land, which I'm guessing means they don't have the supply to. So as long as I can hold these ports here, they shouldn't be able to advance. So we just have to worry about these uh, naval invasions. Okay, so... Uh, Free France has capitulated, which means uh, we got a nice amount of stuff. They are starting to launch attacks on us for whatever reason. I don't know why. Um, can we reinforce, please? Okay, we lost that port, which is bad. And another attempted naval invasion, but they're gone. Alrighty, so we're in 1941 now. So just to recap. In our little casualty report, I've taken just about 21,000 deaths while they've received about 135,000. So it could be a little better. Um, unfortunately, they've been really aggressive on land now, so it's getting a little rough um, and trying to hold them back. But so far, it's been decent. Um, I'm hoping we're going to be able to hold them off. I have trained up some more divisions and my submarine has been destroying them um, as usual so i've been forgetting to do research unfortunately i get so caught up in this stuff i forget a bit but uh as we look around i've been doing decently we did lose this port but you know when you're at war with the entire world <laughs> Uh, it can be a little rough, but it is what it is. Yeah, I'm thinking I'll keep this going till about 1943. Then we'll see if we want to continue from there or if we end up losing before then. Um, I honestly don't know. Uh, we actually got our second submarine out, which is nice. So let's see what we can do with that. So in bad news it looks like uh we did get landed on and it's not looking too good for us three of our divisions ended up getting encircled hopefully we can take it back uh we'll see what happens here yeah unfortunately we lost this tile which means we just lost three divisions uh which is unfortunate already it looks like they made a small error and they've opened up their blank here so i'm gonna go ahead and do a quick sneaky move see if i can take advantage of it and then i'll be able to cut off this port from their troops and uh weird turn of events um i think i've just taken ethiopia as a puppet it's a bit interesting let's see how it turns out Yep, as you can see, I've just <laughs> I just took Ethiopia as a puppet. Um, interesting. Uh, I don't I don't actually mean to do anything about it. I just thought it was funny. Um, they actually let me take them. Actually, what the heck? These are my dudes. Um, yeah, give me your army. You guys cause a little mayhem, please. This is definitely interesting. Um, I guess we're kind of pushing something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I've taken this area over here. I'm connecting some railroads so they actually get supply here. Because um, we can't actually get convoys through. 
but we are doing a lot of damage to their troop convoys, which is making it very nice in the casualty board, but I don't understand. I guess I did enough damage to Soviets where they let me do stuff when they died, so I'm not complaining. Uh, we'll see how things go from here. Actually, I'm wondering if I could uh, spearhead straight for my land. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be hilarious if it works. Charge. If it happens to work, I'm going to laugh. Oh, it's not working. <laughs> oh, well, that's okay. I'm just causing some chaos. And maybe I could do a little something here. My buddies don't know what they're doing. Uh, That's okay. That's okay. We'll just cancel this. Alrighty, so we're in 1942. So just looking at the casualty report, um, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately our puppets got capitulated rather quickly, um, mostly because I kind of just threw them away, but it is what it is, so we've dealt just about 450,000 casualties to them while taking 53,000 of our own, uh, so overall it's been going pretty well, uh, it's been my submarines that have been carrying mostly everything, but that's okay. We actually did just get a new one, so we're gonna set some more convoy rating. And then, not too much else has changed. I've been running out of decent focuses to get through, unless of course there is some I could have used. Um, in which case, oh well. Other than that, it's not too much going on. Um, I pushed a little bit here. But I don't know how well that's going to hold. Um, I would need to take this in order to cut off some more of their supplies. It's a weird subject. Um, I got to figure out how to get rid of these dudes. But I don't have the manpower to do so quite at the moment. Uh, we'll see how things go. Alright, looks like we're facing a small push here. Uh, we are repelling them for the most part. We might have to retreat from this point here. Let's go ahead and get them back. There we go. They can have that tile. I don't mind. I said I don't mind. Stop. There we go. So I could try taking this. I'm a bit hesitant though. Because if I lose like anything along here. This like the entire group here would be encircled. Similar to what happened right here. Um, like they took. Like I think it was this one. I forgot what they took. It might have been this. Yeah, they took this tile and it just cut off this entire group. So, trying to avoid a repeat of that. But overall, we're repelling them back so far. Alrighty, so a minor issue. It looks like we did get pushed here. Uh, I'm trying to take it back so we don't end up losing these guys. It's not looking too great, though. We just really got to get them out of here. Hopefully we can take this back. Oh, looks like they reinforced it. Not good, not good. No! Alright, a little annoying. Uh, small setback, but that's a lot of troops for... Oh wait, unless... Can I get there through the port, please? <laughs> they will invade my own land. Go, go, go. Oh, no. Let's see. I might have an idea if I can make this work. I don't know. No, they're going to die before it works out. So, oh well. Um, It is what it is. Unless I can do a quick... Quick save here, maybe? Nope, not quite. It's too late. Unfortunate. Um, Back to 6th Division. <laughs> no! Oh my goodness, okay. Unfortunate, um, let's see what our casualty count is. We've done about 800,000 of them, uh, 93,000 to us, so... That encirclement was unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. I don't really know what to do with those sorts of situations. Um, you really can't look away at all. I was just looking at some of these convoy raids I turned back and suddenly they have that tile so 
unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, I'll go ahead and keep on going, and once something happens, I'll bring you back. Alrighty, guys, we are in 1943, so not too much has happened since the last update. Uh, they don't really try attacking inside my actual borders. All they've really done is, like, take back what I stole from them, so... It's kind of the point, I don't think I'm going to be able to do too much, considering uh, if we go to production, we literally have zero uh, steel. Like, we literally don't even produce it, so... <laughs> but we, the only thing we actually produce is rubber, but we really can't do a whole lot with it. Um, so I don't really know how I'd go about this, especially since I'm surrounded by major powers. So, I could keep sinking convoys, but I really don't want to sit around for the next hour just watching that go up. Um, but one final casualty report we're looking at 841,000 losses from them. Oh, I, oh, that tipped up a little bit. Uh, then we lost about 93,000 of our own. So, Pretty good KD in my opinion, uh, considering we're Liberia, but <laughs> other than that, uh, not too much really happening. I'd like to say Liberia can survive against the world. Um, you know, we were able to hold our original borders. We can't really expand anywhere without it being taken back and losing like thousands of troops, so... It's not a complete win, but we're still alive, with just, which is the purpose of this challenge. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, so I'm going to call it here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe as well as the notification bell. I'm doing a subscriber challenge. So if we hit 200 subscribers, I will do a similar challenge to this with every single nation in the game whether it's a starring nation or releasable if it exists i'll play it so anyways hope you guys enjoy and i hope you have a good rest of your day